hi everyone welcome back so today we are going to see a very interesting topic that is AI skills so what exactly are the AI skills how it is going to help in our workflow so that we are going to see so we will explore the basics of the AI skill we will also see a tutorial where we will actually put some documents and in this with the help of this AI skill we will be able to classify the documents as well okay so let's start with the document part now let's consider that I have this two documents available the first document is a travel reimbursement form what is happening in that in that form is first of all like employee details are there then their uh, reimbursement details are there like or uh, what are the expenses of different entities uh, that they have uh, paid for now there is another record for the medical record as well where the various medical information of a employee is listed here now let's consider a scenario that in the company multiple like thousands of employees are there and every day somebody used to submit some requests so there are, are every at any given point of time there are hundreds of requests and it becomes quite a rigorous human task to classify these types of different documents there so in that place we can also utilize our AI skills as well with the help of the machine learning and artificial intelligence these documents can be easily classified as well so in Appian now we have the option of AI skills with the help of which we can carry out some of the AI skill part as well majorly it used to cover about the classification types and the extraction types in our latest version 24.2 multiple more AI skills have been introduced uh, like uh, 11 more AI skills have been introduced but th those are not yet available for everyone but let's explore some of the common use cases our use case is going to be document classification so basically AI skill is going to have two types either it can be classification or it is going to be an extraction part so in classification we will be able to ca classify the types of the documents and he in extraction we will be able to extract the data from a document so our current use case is document classification so in order to classify document you have to click on the documents part here let's click on the document part okay and here you have to give the name of the document classify docs click on create once you have defined the skill type here and the name okay click on save changes and now it will open you a new window of the AI skill where you, you will actually work on the AI skill part this is the window for the AI skill here what it has been covered is uh, here two types you will see published model and unpublished model similarly it is a kind of concept in process model also we used we use uh, for example a process model can be in a draft state can be a published as well when we publish the process model, what happens the latest instance will run on the published model if the latest instance doesn't run on the draft model at all so these are the unpublished models which can you can keep it but only the AI skill will always work on the latest published models only now here it is asking build your first model click on create a first model here when you will click on the create first model here you will get the document types so basically like our use case was that we wanted to classify these two different document types here now here it is asking that for ex collect some examples of your documents okay and at least 10 documents you have to keep it and every document has to be in PDF only and all the documents are unique so these are the three most important criteria if it is not fulfilled then your training will get failed as well so here you have to write the name here for example I am writing here reimbursement so first of all it is and now I am going to upload the different documents PDF files for this one let me upload and show you so here you can see I have now uploaded around 15 documents 10 were needed but I had some more documents so this these many documents I have uploaded okay and here see you have to upload 10 documents all are PDF and everything is unique here now we, we have to create one another type as well medical records click and create other and here we will write here medical records so here we will try to upload the medical records let me upload it 
now you can see I have uploaded the medical record I have got only 10 documents but 10 is the bare minimum limit that I have used and just you just click on create here once it is both the document types that you have used it is configured then you can click on save changes and you can finally go to the training the model just click on train model when you will actually go on the train train model then the training has been started here here you can see the summary of the documents as well so here you can see a progress report something like this one is there like a model 001 is training is in progress refresh the page okay and here you can see the pub there is no published model and in the unpublished 001 has been started and the status is pending here training is in progress and total 25 documents are there so this particular training will take time based on how many documents you have given here so that is important part here so it uh, we have started around 4 13 maybe it will take around 15 minutes it can also take whatever the number of documents you have given so we will try it i will show you once it is completely done now the classification of the documents have been completed successfully you can see that you have successfully trained a model okay and now you can see all the documents have been successfully trained if you are not getting this success message most probably that you the documents that you have uploaded some of the documents would be not unique it will be duplicate it will contain duplicate data so at that time it might not work but if everything works fine if everything is fine all the documents are unique and all so then you will be able to get this congratulation message as well okay once you have created the AI skill then you can see here some metrics are there in order to understand the metrics uh, uh, the in the documentation like all the different types of metrics are available which can help you to identify it for example one summary is there summary is that's fine and then there is a confusion matrix if you go in the confusion matrix you will see like 100% documents actual is what medical records and every with the help of all the documents it has been able to successfully recognize all the medical records only and then there are some additional metrics as well which are available okay so precision is generally like the better uh, the higher it is much better so here also you can see like you want higher precision for a document type if you want the most relevant documents to be classified so that's one so similarly other precision also there but our main focus on building this tutorial now in order to test the model you have to click on test model and error occur while starting the test please try again later okay let me just refresh it now let's try to test the model click on test model and here you can see uh, you have to upload you can upload up to five files and you can test the model what I will do here is I will try to upload a mixture of both reimbursement and medical records and then we will try to see like how the result turns out now that you can see I have uploaded here three files as of now one I have uploaded a travel reimbursement one I have uploaded a medical record and one I have uploaded my uh, senior developer certificate here some ACD 201 is there and now we will try to test the model it will again now the testing ha of the model has been started model 001 t is test is in progress okay now so it will take some time to test as well basically three documents we have provided so it can take is again like five minutes uh, or three four minutes based on like the document only and the content it has to process so based on that it will take in the meanwhile we can click on refresh button and try to get our latest results as well B now guys you can see here I have published the model okay I have to, I had published the model as well and you can see the result here so see I have uploaded three documents here so reimbursement it, it it has a confidence score of 77 for the medical record it has a confidence score of 67 and ACD 201 it has it has identified it as a medical record only but confident confidence score is very less that is just 56 see we can increase the confidence score it can be only increase once you train with different different types of documents and more number of documents it should be unique and the number should be more then only you will get better confidence score for these two and this one will be having a less confidence score so that was like how our result will be once it is published just click on save changes and now here you can see this is how we can use use the AI skills and 
this AI skill can be used only through the process model only. So this was a brief intro about the classified documents AI skill. I hope this was clear for you. Try to have a data set and I will try to give my data set as well so that you can get started. You can get started on the classified documents AI skill as well. Similarly, uh, move to the uh, classify email and the document extraction as well. So that was all for now. Thank you.